Coming here today, having ridden the Brute Force 750, the 650, the, the whole heritage of uh, Kawasaki's um, utility lineup, uh, when we first drove into the parking lot, the first thing I noticed was the 300 sitting out front. When we started riding, uh, we have all these um, notions set in our head of what to expect. Uh, today, the 300 totally blew those out of the water. The 300cc um, engine is surprisingly powerful for its size. Um, it's not overwhelming. Uh, it, it is a, a power plant that gives good, smooth, linear power. Great for beginners. Great for an intermediate rider or a graduating rider. Um, the transmission, it's a, it's a CVT or a belt-driven transmission. Uh, work flawlessly all day, um, have high, low, reverse, and neutral. Absolutely sh shifts golden. The ride today was su surprisingly fun. The little machine is very nimble, a little bit of a twistier weight. You can, you can push it around the corners. Climbing the mountains here at Mines and Meadows, we, we encountered a lot of rocks, a lot of bumpy areas and stuff. And, and the first thing I thought of uh, stereotypically for a 300cc um, entry level machine was, you know, how bad that this is going to hurt. But let me tell you, the more we rode, the more I really noticed how plush the suspension was. For what was there, it worked really, really well. And on these steep uh, descents, uh, inclines, descents, and, and curvy trails and stuff, the brakes are absolutely incredible. The front brakes, um, if you get too much a front brake, it'll bring the back end around. It's, it's, you're going to stop. There's definitely uh, uh, no issue there for me. At some points during the day on our ride, obviously the power wasn't there of the larger brute forces, but it felt like you were on a brute force. It had that same um, uh, similar characteristics in a smaller package. It's absolutely a blast to ride.